I, I knew that I give people a lot of space to be themselves. Yes. And I can often hold space for it when they can't and they've got yes. shame and I can find their innocence. Right. Yeah. I hadn't made the connection that I must be doing that it, to some extent for myself as well. I wouldn't oh. be able to do that. So thank you for that. Fist pump. I, I think you're doing it a hundred percent. I don't think, I honestly don't think it's possible unless you're some actor, which is totally fake and shallow. Right. If you really do it, who is science. If we can't have that intimate conversation inward all the way to infinity on the inside, how can it extend, you know, on the outside? Right. Well, I'll definitely confess. I still self judge for sure. I, you well, know, not my work's part. not done. Yeah. yeah my work's yeah. not done. It's a, definitely a work in progress. Well, I think that's part of the beauty of being vulnerable is when I, when I do share, I share when I'm a hot mess, <laughs> when I'm judging myself or, or what have you. And then again, the, the process. So what would be one of your most effective, tender, bold, I don't know what flavor it is, maybe there's many, of how you bring yourself out of that self-criticism, rejection, judgment, back into presence, tenderness, home, choice? I feel like I'm getting a little misty right now. Um, I, like the thought is almost there and I can't quite grab it. I know last night in the middle of the night. Mm. Oh, that's right. What I do is I often use the Byron Katie work mm. four questions in a turnaround. So, yeah. uh, I was judging myself. I found it. Firstly, you got to catch yourself judging yourself because sure. it's so subtle sometimes, mm. or it's so pervasive, you don't even notice it. A fish can't see the water that yeah. it's swimming in. Yeah. So we often can't even see our judgments. But I caught the thought last night, I was feeling bad about myself because I'd taken a couple of painkillers the night before. Mm. All right, so we're going to go there. All right, we are going to go there. I took a couple of painkillers. And then as I said to you in the pre-interview, you're going to take painkillers. I'm told it's good to take a laxative as well. Right. Where you can have constipation, right? So for people having breakfast, I apologize for this. Um, but the point is, I was judging myself because I took two of the laxative, which apparently was too much. So now I'm in some pain in the middle of the night and I'm judging myself. Yeah. And I tried to find the thought. Mm -hmm. And the thought boiled down to, I hurt myself. Mm -hmm. And even that hurt, just to say that to myself, I hurt myself and I was feeling bad about the decisions I made. So I went through the Byron Katie process and the short version of it was something like, is it true that I hurt myself? And then who would I be without the thought? And I thought, without the thought, I'd just be someone having this experience, feeling some pain and just maybe even surrender to it. Yeah. And then I turned it around and I realized I helped myself. Because, and I, and I came up with so many things that I've been doing to try and take care of myself. And mm. I found my innocence mm. and I found my intention that I do so much to look after myself. And even if it was the wrong move to take those pills, and I don't know, mm. Mm. I still got my intention and my innocence. So there's a short version of how I caught myself feeling bad about myself and I was able to let myself off the hook. Mm, thank you. That's so beautiful. But I've had fatigue for the last 10 years. And um, it's to the point where I, I don't leave the house much right now because I don't feel like being around people. And I'm just trying to learn how to be in the day, how to get through the day when I'm feeling so tired. I don't want to look at a computer screen and yeah. can't do my work. And my therapist is working with me on surrender and slowing down and there's a part of me that's kicking and screaming saying no must produce must help the world must make money must yes. be useful must be valuable yes Ugh. and and today i've got two interviews but other than that i might be laying down with my eyes shut listening to an audiobook and taking walks around the house and doing a naptation um <laughs> It, it, so I'm still kind of kicking and screaming, but last night was the first night in, I think, months that I fell asleep without the aid of any sleeping pills or medical cannabis or anything. I slept for eight and a half hours. Wow. It's the, one of the biggest wins of my year. Great. So I think I'm learning slowly this surrender piece. Yeah. 
yeah. to just go at the pace. I mean, what a, a friend of mine used to say is go, let's go at the speed of love. Mm, oh, I like that. 